there's no there's no controversy there's no problem there there's the right answer to this and there's the wrong answer to this i'm telling you <laughs> saka is not getting into that team yo see it doesn't take an intelligent man to manage a team to win a cup like you know you doing that was a selfish act and we all know it was Arsenal will not win the premier league because of one reason one reason only they got rid of grana shaka yes them boys say yeah, I got bad them. I don't I trust to you if you ain't bad them. They want to do me, I can do, do you anyways. Welcome back, guys, <laughs> to another episode of the DES podcast. You're here with Abademi there, the CEO of this shit. And I'm here with the General Vasia. General Vasia. GOS. You know, you know, it's the, <laughs> what's it? The, the, what is it? The, what did you say again? The D, the what's that? What's that? Oh, the D E S without the S. Yeah. Mm. And again, it is the D E S without the S. Yeah, of course. Again. Anyways, guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, let's get things kicking from where what's happening at eight o'clock later on today. The Euros. Who do you think is gonna win? See, it doesn't take an intelligent man to manage a team to win a cup, like you know what I mean. Ew. I'm 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 so sorry because Tanak bet City man he's not intelligent let's be real. I swear. <laughs> so like it like it it all depends on what you do on the final day and mm. it depends it doesn't depend like how you got there it depends on if you win on the last day. That's very true. So like England, there is a high possibility that England could win. They mm. have the players to win. Hundred percent. But I would love to see them lose to be honest mm. because. They did, first of all, he didn't. He never start Cole Palmer, and that's my that was my one problem. But so wait, your your problem? You don't want English to win the Euros because he didn't start Cole Palmer fully. That's wow. the reason. I couldn't. I just what's my business about the Euros? Like, oh. I know, but like, I feel like it's gonna be one one, and like Daniel was gonna score like a goal, and then England are gonna win a penalty in like the second half or something. Kane will score, and then it goes into penalties. But like, um. Yeah, like, I don't think England will play particularly well. They don't know how to keep the ball. The way the way they play is actually atrocious. They didn't play bad the last... Like, they didn't play too bad the last time, though, did they? Yeah, against the Netherlands, no. Against them? Um, who were they playing? Netherlands. Netherlands. They didn't play too bad against the Netherlands, man. Yeah, but still, there's still shit, like, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I hear I hear where you're coming from, like, you know? As I said to, like, my even my people in work, like I said... This is the worst performance I've ever seen a team do to get so far mm. in a competition. Like, yeah, I've never seen I've never seen a team play so bad and got so far in a competition. Yeah, like you know, people might say, "Oh, but real, like you know, Real Madrid in the Champions League, mm. or like even that time Chelsea won the Champions League and they didn't play particularly well." But like, how bad England have been playing it's, does not make it's sense. It's really bad. It's to actually how shocking. How far they're getting? It's shocking. And they're delivered. They're living off moments, like yeah. you know, like it's that. You see that Walker's goal? And that's that and that's how you find it. That what? Was sick. That what? Was sick. That's a sick. Who, 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 who done that assist? Palmer. Palmer. You yeah. see? And I know, and I've said it from day one. I said it to you from day one. I don't know why Palmer is not been signed yours. It makes no logical sense to me. Yeah, like, like even the way he's playing now, when he has like Saka as kind of like a right wing but, back or something. Forgive me, how can you have a player who's player of the season most assist? Did he get this season? I think he was in the top three. Yeah, top three. Is the most top assist. three is the most assists and top three is the most, most goals. goals. People might say it's a penalty match, but who cares? Mm. Who cares, man? At the end of the day, yeah, people need to remember, at the end of the day, at the football match, all that matters is that what you do on the pitch. What you do on the pitch and how many goals you score. And But the thing, the thing is that did piss me off was that the fact that Cole Palmer didn't play as much time as Foden in that one match that they went to penalties and he came up he was the first person to take the penalty, scored, and Foden was sitting like a little bitch yeah, appa- on a bench. Apparently, they said that, well, it's not confirmed. Not confirmed. Allegedly, no. Allegedly. someone did not want to take a penalty. Mm. Allegedly. Allegedly. But who knows? But that person's but, a little uh, bitch. So, anyway. <laughs> we'll go back to the Euros now. So, uh, let's mm. let's talk about, um, you know what, the, the 11. Like, what, when the England and Spain 11. Or combined 11. Yes, combined 11. So, keeper, Pickford, or who's the spin keeper? You know, Simon. Simon I think. Who would you put? <laughs> I actually don't know. Because they both been playing really well. I think it's a 50-50. You have to put Me, I think I'm going to put Pickford. 
I would, I, I would not. Yeah, I take Pickford. Yeah, yeah I take. Pickford. I always said to you, Pickford deserves a bigger team than Everton. Of course, man. Right, of course, yeah, people yeah. might say he has a bit of an attitude and all this, but like, I kind of like it though. Yeah, he, he's a dickhead. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know. So, um, I'd hate to play against him, but I'd love him oh, for me. Oh man, he do me head anyway. Mm. Um, right back, I'd, right back, Carvajal. Carvajal or Walker, is it? Yeah, I'd take Carvajal. Really? Because Walker has not been good in this Euros, no. No, let's we can't do that. Walker has been... I've, you know, so... Literally, like, Walker is more versatile. Hmm? Walker is more versatile than Carvajal. Yeah, he would be. That's that's a more of a reason that he should be better than Carvajal, but he hasn't been. I think I'm going to pick Walker. Really? Yeah. Kai! Blood of Zachariah. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, Centre-backs. Gehi. Gehi, John Stones, and then the two Spanish centre-backs. Laporte and... Why is the guy's name? The guy, the guy does... He's just signed for Aleko as well. Robin Lem, I can't. I don't remember his name, but I know he just signed for Atletico. I hate when people's names don't come out. It really gives me a headache. Mm. Yes, yeah, so La, La, La no, Normad. La Normad. Yeah, I take Laporte and Gehi. Yeah, Laporte yeah. and Gehi. I can yeah. agree with you on that one. The fact no, that- I take Stones. I will take Stones and Laporte. Because I need a, I need a right foot centre back. I need a left foot centre back. I can't have two left footers playing centre back. Yeah, he's right foot. He just uses his left foot really well. Timas. But like, <laughs> you know this guy, I've always talked his right. And left nah, foot. he's just a really good left foot. Like, good okay, fair enough. I'm taking Gay if he's really right. But foot. like the fact that this is Gay, he's first Euros. major. It's major competition and well, Euros. Like all those Crystal Palace players have been good. Like, bro, you know, Gay, there's no possibility that Crystal Palace. Keep Gehi with their Alisa is gone. Eze is going to be gone. And Eze is going to be gone. Yeah. Them three man, do you know how much money they're going to fluctuate they, from that? If Kai, they, if they if they use that money correctly to build that team back again, they'll be very good. Five. They'll be very good. So okay, so we we both agree. Left back, obviously Kukurela. There's no there's no even question about Not that one. Question. The midfield is where I see people are arguing. <laughs> so there is a right answer to this though as well. So wait, the English midfield is Menu. Menu Lekker Rice, Rice Bellingham. Van- mm. Bellingham has been 10. Like, the okay, Bellingham. Mm. And then for the other lad, it's been Pedri, Rodri, and Fabio Ruiz. And then you can put Daniel Mo as well. Daniel Mo. Now, what are we saying here? I'm saying Rodri. Yeah. Rodri is there 100%. Okay. Rodri, Menu. Yes, I agree. Me, I'm Daniel Mo. You're Daniel Mo. Yeah. I think I'm going to go Fabio Ruiz. Because I know it's not balanced, but I think he's been very, very good. And to be honest, when he went to PhD, he's gone. To, he went to PhD. I thought, I thought his life is over. To be honest, I thought it was wrote off. I didn't know he was as good as he is when he was playing. But for there's Spain. a lot of players. The problem is with football lately. There's a lot of players who are that good, but are not just not getting their chance. Yeah, Do you get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's players at clubs that. Sorry, what were we saying? <laughs> the midfield. The midfield. So, Rodri, we agreed on. Yeah. Medu, we agreed on. Yeah. But you're saying Ruiz and I'm saying Danny Omo. Mm. Do you know what's so funny that none of us put Jude? I, would, I wouldn't put Jude. I would. I think Jude would be probably third if I had to pick any of them. Like, they're all saying he looks tired and stuff. And to be honest, as a top player like that, they, 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 you're not allowed to be tired. I'd be so real. I'm. I'm not. If not, you're not allowed to be tired in a major, a major tournament like this. No matter how much you played this season, top players are the ones that build through that all that all that tiredness mm. and play better than that. You know what I mean? So, let's go. Pickford. You Ka- said. I said Carvajal. Had, I said Walker. Mm. We both agreed on Gehi and Laporte and Cucurella and Cucurella. So midfield, we both agree on Rodri. We both Manu. agree on Manu. But you're Danny. I'm Danny Omo, and you're Fabian Ruiz. Yeah. Okay, now this is where the pro- big major problem is. I don't think there's a problem. I don't think it's a problem. But I, don't think a problem. I think me and you are going to disagree on one person. <laughs> I know. Um, I know we are. <laughs> so, England's tree has been Foden, Kane, and Saka. Yeah. And Spain's tree has been Nico yeah. Williams, Morata, and Yamal. I don't even care what you say. I'm picking Harry Kane <laughs> as up front. I genuinely just do not care. The wingers are my problem. I don't who are you picking, Morata, I guess. No, I'm big. You know, I'm gonna throw up Daniel Mo striker. Are you okay? Yeah, fully. 
I'm gonna play him in first nine. So I came. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, and then the wingers are where I've seen there's been a lot of. Conversion. There's no, there's no controversy. There's no problem there. There's the right answer to this and there's the wrong answer to this. I'm <laughs> telling you, Saka is not getting into that team. Yo, so combined eleven, Saka is not getting in. No, nah, Yamal has been. Be- if you're talking about just the tournament alone, oh, Yamal's been better. Yamal's been better. So that's 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. that's written off completely. Nico Williams, I don't even want to hear chat. <laughs> I won't lie. Just ignore everybody else. There's a right answer to this. It's Nico Williams and Yamal. Foji, Saka, Vamos. For I see, I can agree with the with the Yamal thing. Mm. But Nico Williams hasn't had a hasn't been playing that well as well. That's that's But he's been better than Foden. Mm. He's, he's, he's It's agree to disagree on this one. I just don't agree. I just don't think that Foden. You, you, he's the prim- you need to remember right he's the Premier League player of the year mm. they stand now, this guys don't get me twisted if mm. you ask me Cole Palmer was playing more Cole Palmer is in that team not a question of a doubt yeah fully if Cole, let's say one thing mm. if Cole Palmer was playing more Cole mm. Palmer is there over them too I don't even care yeah 100% but I'm saying you're the pre- Premier League one of the best leagues probably the, if not the best one of the best leagues in the world player of the year if you're not acting like the Premier League player of the year in a major competition, I'm sorry, I can't pick you. In my whole, with my whole heart, I can't pick you. That's why I'm picking Nico Williams because Nico Williams is younger, and this is I think this is his first major tournament as well. Mm. It might be I think mm-hmm. this is Foden. Foden played in the World Cup. This is like his second Euros as well, mm. right? I'm just saying, where where is the point that he plays better than what he's doing now? You know what yeah. I mean? After the season it had. So that's why I, I can't righteously put it in my team. I yeah, promise no, you. I hear you. But um, I think the one that we... Obviously, we don't always argue on is Harry Kane. Look, with me and Harry Kane, is everybody knows I might love Harry Kane. Mm. They can say I'm glazing. They can say I'm whatever. <laughs> this is what it is. I don't care. I don't know you. Mm. And to be honest, I'll never probably meet you in my life. Mm. But with me and Harry Kane, it's just more like... When you're asking me about a guy... Yes, he hasn't had the best of tournaments. I can put my hands up and see. But... You just always know when he's. I'm not gonna say it's he's, he has the best him. He has the Messi and Ronaldo effect that went on the pitch. Just the presence, but Harry Kane's presence alone scares defenders. Because you don't know what the guy's gonna do. Is he gonna is, is he gonna is he going to want to play the number ten role and be pinging the ball? Is he gonna does he, Harry Kane does Harry Kane decides what he wants to do in the middle of the match? Does he want to be De Bruyne one minute, next minute he wants to be Wayne Rooney? One minute, then he wants to be fucking, um, I don't know, he wants to be a winger. So that's why I'm saying, you're asking me about a guy who I know that if he's not scoring that much, he's going to be setting the tone of the game. That's why I'm always going to have Harry Kane there. And I know that most of the time, when there's a chance to score, you know he's going to score. Harry Kane has not made enough chances for himself to score. But when chances have come, he's either hit them on target or he's going to go. So that's me, Harry Kenton. Man, the guy's been saying hello to John Stones. Like he's dropping that, he's dropping deep, dive deep. Like you know, you know, like the thing about Harry Kane, right? If Cole Palmer was playing, Harry Kane would be scoring goals for fun. That's true. So that's that's another thing, right? That's that's separate. Like I think it's a tactical thing that he's it's not it, playing it, well. It, at the end of the day, this whole it's eight... not, obviously it's not his fault. He's yeah. his fault that he's playing like that, right? And the system. He needs people that can get him behind, which he doesn't have, right? Thank you. I do, I understand that, like, but this guy is an elite striker. One of, probably the best in the world yeah. right now. Okay. And I know he plays to his strengths, obviously, right? Yeah. But I'm just saying that I expect, even though, like, it's not, everything's not looking his way, I do expect but way more than what he's you, producing. But you're saying this, but how do you expect more from Harry Kane when the people around him aren't providing the service? Was- I, yeah, that's, that's why I, I understand your point there, right? But, like, you can't, <laughs> you have Bukayo Saka. Saka is one of the best wingers in the world, right? Saka's been playing. Saka's you need, you need to because year. if if they're doing, that's when you need to use your brain at times as a footballer. You know when Kane Kane knows what type of player Saka is. He knows what type of player Foden is. They like to come sure. They like and they like. Well, I know Saka likes to stay wide and Foden likes to come in. That's when the footballing brain needs to kick in. That's even there was one chance. Remember against Netherlands, right? Mayu was carrying the ball, waiting for Kane to make the running behind, make the running behind. And then Kane comes to him like, I, I expect, because Kane is the best striker in the world, I expect a bit of brain power when he's playing as well. Yeah, I get I get where you're coming from, but we, we have to remember something as well. 
we when Kane is at Bayern Munich, there's a system that he knows mm. the way mm. it is. When he was at Tottenham, there was a system that the way it was. But when you're at look as it is what is England are in, England are in the final. When mm. you're playing in the system that you don't know what's going to happen next, that you have a you have a coach who doesn't even know what he's doing, mm. like what do you expect him to do. I hear it, and 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 there's one thing like you said. You, wait, and it, I don't know. I'm not a manager and all this, but when I played football. There was two things. There was no one winger comes in short and one winger stays in wide. It's either they both stay out wide they or they both in. come in short. Mm. You even see with Yamal and Nico Williams, they're either touch line or they're both in. Mm. You can't be having one person here and one person there because when you're both wide, that's when the midfielders get the ball and switch the play. But when you're having now one person who wants to come the ball short and there's space, there's all this space there, and then you have one person who's playing wide. Obviously, the whole team is going to be like, well, Rag- raggedy, we, hmm? raggedy, yeah. The opposite team is going to be like, well, we can actually all just shift as a unit mm. because this guy is going to want to come if he's not making space, which is going to cause problems for Saka mm. because then Saka is going to be more, what's the word, going to have more players on him. That's why when you play wide, you're stretching out the play. That's when the gaps show. And But what what's happening when Foden's coming in is there's no gap for England to pay through because mm. the teams are compact now because mm. Foden's like, give me the ball. Yes, we don't know Foden. Foden probably has, if not the best feet in the Premier League one of the best, one of the best yeah, players yeah, yeah, yeah I guess so, I guess so, yeah. and that's where my problem is like with Kane yes people will say oh Kane should be playing but yeah but at the end of the day a striker a striker and a goalkeeper they're actually both kind of the same type of player mm. one needs a defence to help him get the least amount of shots and one needs his midfield and his wingers to provide him service it'll be a different story now I get it. If Kane was getting all the service and wasn't finishing up, mm, like, no. you know what? Yeah, you're. Not, but he's barely getting anything. England mm. are actually barely creating chances. This is they're not the creating chances. This is the problem. And I think that 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 stems to Jude as well. Oh, because I you see. No, I don't get me wrong, right? No, I agree with what you're gonna say because the Jude. I'm so disappointed in him this year. Like I think he's. I think he's first on the Ballon d'Or rankings as well, which is absolutely. I'm sorry, it's bonkers it's, to me. It's gonna. You know, it's gonna be between. In my opinion, it's gonna be between him and Kane. If mm. they win if, the Euros. If, if England win the Euros, but Spain win the Euros, I think they'll find a way to give it to Rodri. If Rodri, look, I want to make this very clear. If Rodri does not, regardless, fuck it, actually. I, Kane, you're my favourite, but if Rodri does not win the Euro, the Ballon d'Or in the in the next two years, there's, there, there's Dude, something I'm going sorry, on there. I'm sorry, there's something You captains all over the world that pick, mm. use your footballing brain. This guy, I, I don't think he, go, he went to, what was it, 70 games? Was it 70 games? Remember he went to, Goes when Rodri's playing, we don't lose. Mm. Like, can you, do, do, I do, think do. the only time they lost was against United. That that fake of fire. I'm just saying, there's not. See, there's not a player in the world that you can tell me that can do that. <laughs> that him. That's remember I was trying to even fight some about this. Mm. I said the influence of Rodri on a pitch. Mm. They said like City go from like. 87% chance of winning when Rodney's playing to 30% chance of winning when he's not. Do you understand that one player has that influence? Has, has the, that last time we, the last time we knew a person had that influence is Ronaldo and Messi. Mm. Not even Mbappe has that influence. Not, chance. not Neymar has that influence. No. When you tell me a, when the player's on the pitch, mm. he doesn't even play as a strike goal. He just plays as a midfielder. Yeah. Oh. And if it's the game that much, my friend, behave. But Jude, right? Um... Yeah, I don't. I don't understand him. Well, he's never. He was never a player to like. He's like kind of like a shadow striker, just be coming in like he plays ten, but comes in into the box, whatever. But I'm sorry if you can't pass the ball. Straight, <laughs> I'm sorry. You, I know he's young, right? He has a lot of time to develop, which is fine, right? Mm-hmm. But like Gary Sake, any any other manager with a bit of force, right? Won't listen to any any other people's like opinions and stuff, right? He would have dropped Jude time ago. Mm. Maybe after the first three games. I would have used what he sent and played Copama there. I'd be sorry. Played Copama in the 10. Anyone, any, anyone with right sense, if you're, if you're not looking at the politics of football, right? With that, no, even just not even the politics of football. The politics of England, right? Anyone in that right sense would have used Gordon on the left. Palmer, that, that, Palmer that in the one. 10. Why is... Oh my God. You know, I think... I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a rule or something. I think players now should actually question am I going to is there even a point to me coming if I'm not going to get a chance to see because mm. I get there's no between being a bench warmer but like these are players that if they switch to legions they'll be playing week in week out fully and they'll be doing good 
Milan. That's why a lot of people switch allegiance from. I wouldn't be surprised if Fikayo Tomori changes allegiance. Um, has he played more than three? Yeah, I don't it's, think he's been picked. I think if you have, is it more than three caps, you can switch. Because that's how Zaha switched. Because, you know, because Fikayo Tomori, even after he won the Scudetto, he never got picked for England. I was like, what, what's... No, what, Gary Sarke has his favourites. Mm. You know, Gary Sarke has his favourites. Of course. Like, we, that one that one has been settled. He can say, mm. he can say oh, we pick people. No, you have your favourites. Just mm. say the way it is. When he mentioned the name Calvin Phillips, that in that oh. interview, I knew that this guy, this that, that guy, this oh. one wet slap. When I heard Calvin Phillips, I was just... I, I, was, I, was, I was just looking at him. I was like, can you imagine what you're seeing? Do you hear what you're even saying? Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's actually fucking ridiculous at this mm-hmm. point, you know? But hopefully, England lose... You know, what score prediction? So, guys, this is it's around twenty to five now. So mm. the reverse final is about three, four hours. Mm. What's your score prediction? So I'll say one one. Throughout the game, mm-hmm. penalties, and England winning the penalties. As much as I hate to say, I feel like they're gonna win. Yeah, and I feel like as much as they don't know this thing is either they're gonna get trashed. or they're just gonna be jammy and winning like they've been through the whole. Yeah, it could go like you know, you know that match. Remember that match, um, Barca absolutely cooked United that time. Oh yeah, yeah. You could go like that yeah. and Spain cook England. You no, know, it could go like that way, or it could go like an even game and then England winning penalties. I don't think England win a normal time. Yeah, I don't. But we'll see what happens. Abby. So, as we know, the Copa America is on <laughs> as well. A very interesting thing happened the other day with um Nunes. Darren Nunes. And um, jumped into the crowd and started boxing the head. Him and the Colombia fans were boxing the head off each other. I didn't use it. I wanted them away. Pasta. Yeah. <laughs> but no, do you know what the funny thing is, yeah? <laughs> the football in like that part of the continent is a whole different ball game of fans compared to the ones in Europe. Mm. Like, they are serious. They are crazy. They're mad people, man. They are like, they're not normal in the head. Yeah, no, I don't think any any South American team even, not just their fans, no South American team is like, normal. That was crazy. Defying, kicking. Eh, 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 Kai. But like, what do you think? Like, you know, I get it, yeah. You know, tempers flare things happen. Mm. Like, but the thing that, I think from what I heard, and maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, it was something to do like the Colombia fans were taunting the Uruguay fans' family. Mm. It was something to do with that. Mm. And um, obviously that's why they both jumped in. I think personally, when footballers are in like that type of setting, <laughs> I think their parents should be sitting closer to them in them in the, you know where their dugouts are? Yeah. Rather than in the stands. In the stands. I think they, that's what they they, like the countries and the clubs need to do more yeah. just to protect the families in that sense because more. and they need to avoid something like that yeah like, I think again. they need to like it needs to be made, made clear if people's mm. parents or partners are mm. ever coming to a stadium because that's dangerous shit man that, bro, remember that remember not was long ago was it not Eric, Eric Dyer, Dyer that yeah. jumped into the crowd and started wanting to box head off their mm. fan as well yeah you know and at the end of the day like I get it from both sides yeah. I get it from Obviously, his side is like, I need to protect my family. Why so much? Running? But these people were pure swinging at each other. I'm like, where's the security here? This is a Copa America. This is not like... semi final as well. There needs to be extra security. Like, Yeah, this, this is not... And they... Uruguay and Colombia, like, they need... They, you should head for a minute. Like, <laughs> them, both them teams are hotheads, you know? They're hotheaded. I know, but the thing is as well, there's, there's always a way to de-escalate the situation, right? But the two people that I saw there, especially were Nunes and Araujo. Them guys are, are, are crazy. They're, 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 mad, they're mad in the head. Mm-hmm. Them guys. So obviously, they were going to be throwing punches when they get got there. Regardless, any mm. even any Uruguayan person was jumping in there, and and throwing punches. So that's why you need extra security. If you have to spend money, spend money so you can protect people. Someone could have got really badly injured oh, in yeah. that situation. Someone could have killed. Someone could have got exactly, and then it would be on the top of the heads of all the federations in South America if someone loses their life. Blame Darren Nunes, but it's like mm. you people could have put extra security there and mm. said like, you know the way the fans are in. South America, mm. they're very like passionate. Very, like, very passionate. They would die for their team. They would mm. die like they would literally. They don't care. Yeah. Their con- in the name of their country, like mm. you can't have that and not have security there. And I, there should have been a better planning process. Yeah, of course. Like, you should never put 
They should never do that again. Though. They should never put families of the opposite team near the fans. The, the fans families of the, of fam- the families team. of the other team, like the fans of the other team. Mm. I don't understand that. It does. It doesn't make sense. It's not logical either. Like you know, it's just so. Because even even if you're put there with the fans of the same team, mm. if that player has a bad game, they're coming for the family. Like you know what I mean? And they're gonna be shouting abuse at that player on the pitch. So like, if they need to find a way, if they have a box area or something, they can put the families if they want to come to the match. You know 100%, what I mean? Hundred percent, hundred percent. But the Copa America is um, Argentina and Colombia. Colombia final, yeah. Final. Ooh. I wouldn't be, like to be honest. Messi doesn't have to show anything to me anymore to make make him be the goal. Yeah, but if he wins this, this one is now Ronaldo. You're not coming there. Yeah, yeah, of course, right? Yeah, I, I'm actually. Like, yeah, that that's that's the thing, right? But like, if he wins this, right? I don't want to hear. Bim from any Ronaldo fan. Ronaldo scores zero goals. I'm saying the Euros zero. So that's that's what I'm saying there, right? But if Messi wins this, right, it doesn't change my perspective of him. If he loses, oh well, you know what I mean. That's that's one conversation we have never had. Mm. The Ronaldo or Messi conversation. Mm. You know we've never had that conversation. Like I think that. we talked touched on it slightly, but we never I properly think, talked about. I it. I think it's time for us to finally have. It. So, simple question: Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. You know what it is for me. Right? <laughs> like, not on that speech share or anything. You know, yeah. like being honest with me. Mm. I would say Ronaldo, and there's a reason why. And I look, and before anybody's, I say that it's just an opinion. It's just an opinion. I know Ting has won the World Cup. I know he's won the Copa America. He's won the Le League One. He's won the Champions League. He's won um, La Liga. He's won. He's won it all. But for me, with Ronaldo is, man, I've only ever seen Messi at Barca, PSG, and where he is now, into Miami. When I see someone like Ronaldo, I went to Man United. He was at my, Sporting Lisbon doing it there. Man United doing it there. Real Madrid, we all know the story there, doing it there. Juventus, doing it there. Went back to Man United again. It was like top goals, like was third top goal scorer in the league. Doing it again. Went to Saudi Arabia, was working it up there. My my thing with Ronaldo is like, is that is the way he adapts. It's like he's gone everywhere and shown himself to be that guy. Messi, if Messi did not was if Messi was not forced to leave Barcelona. He would still be there, realistically speaking. Like, let's be honest. So when I when I when everybody asks me the question about it, I look at it like I'm looking at a guy who's gone to different teams and still kept the same, the same standard compared to a guy I've only seen at one team, realistically speaking. That's what I've seen. I look at him and be like, this guy can show us he can do wherever he goes. Messi's only ever gone to Barca and PSG and into Miami. If Messi had had a few move, moves around, even like one or two clubs, if he's doing this in the prem, I would have even said, you know what? If he's doing that in the prem, week in week out, he's that guy. But that's for me why I say Ronaldo's good because Ronaldo has done it everywhere he goes. Messi's only ever done it at Barcelona mm-hmm. with Xavi and, and he had Xavi and Iniesta there for a good part of it as well. Mm-hmm. And Sergio Busquets. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and Puyol mm-hmm. and Piquet. Yeah, but you're acting like Ronaldo didn't have some of them players as well. Like you need to understand yeah, but, who okay, he had as well. Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying that he didn't, but yeah, but it's the way yeah, yeah. I did I didn't. Yeah, I know the people the music <laughs> from okay. Like regardless, we had Xavi and Iniesta who were mm. undoubtedly two of the best midfielders we're going to see in our yeah. generation for a very long see, time. See, the the reason why I say that Messi is better, right? Is there's a few reasons, right? Do you remember there was a point that he scored the most goals against the top six in the Premier League, more than the people that were inside the league. There was one stat like that, right? He scored against he scored against it, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. That's that, that's just one argument. It's not it's not the whole reason why. Yeah. But like I'm saying that Messi's better because there was a point, right? I think it was Essien, Essien that was talking about when when United were playing against Chelsea. He said that they always knew that Ashley Cole had Ronaldo in his back pocket, right? They they said that right with confidence as well. They said for Messi, they were training for two weeks to prepare for him, right? <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? And it's not like they're putting they're putting one player on him to follow him around like a bad smell. Mm. They're, they're putting two or three men 
just to stop one little five seven guy, right? What Messi has done with that ball, right? Like Ronaldo has more ways of finishing the ball. Yeah, can we agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he has more ways of finishing the ball. Ronaldo's more versatile than Messi. More versatile, yeah. yeah. But Messi is still. The, does Messi have more goals? No. Than Ronaldo. Yeah. No, I think Ronaldo does have more. Ronaldo goals. has I more. Think, I think. Let me see. It says here. 873 and Messi has 821. Okay, that's fair, right? Mm. But like, Ronaldo has more ways. That's probably why he has more goals. Mm. But I'm just saying that Messi has the goals. 821 goals, you said. And he has more assists as well. So he can dictate the game, right? Ronaldo would let so many... I, I don't say... I'm, I'm not, I, I never discredit Ronaldo, right? I think he's one of the greatest players of all time. He's, he's probably in second to Messi. But like, what Messi does with that ball, I'm so sorry... I you can't replicate that. I'd be so real. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, you put yeah. Then, then again, right with Ronaldo, you I, you probably can't replicate Ronaldo, but you more of a chance to see another Ronaldo than a Messi in this life. In not not in our lifetime, just ev- in general, it's more of a there's more of a chance. Yeah, I don't know if we can say that because to be what Ren- Messi is naturally gifted. Mm. Ronaldo has worked so hard that I don't think footballers work that hard anymore. That's why I don't believe we're going to see someone else like Ronaldo again. Yeah, but it's literally, there's no one, there's no one, I'm telling even the finishing, right, of Messi, the way he's outside the box and he will kick it so on low on the ground, he won't even let that ball rise up and he gets his bottom corner every time, right? Ronaldo, there's no signature move Ronaldo has. Wait, wait Ronaldo chop, I forgot about that. And wait, I don't even know, but that, 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 that one alone, Messi, because that I... Header. Okay, maybe he said that, whatever. That leap. Wherever, wherever, right? But like. <sighs> the Thunderbolt shot. Yeah, I'm just saying that. I just think that Messi, the way he dribbles that ball. No, I'm I'm not. I don't disagree with you. Mm. When you're talking about with ball at the feet, it's mm. Messi all day. Yeah, but I'm not talking about like ball at the feet. I'm talking mm. about a player who has gone to different clubs and done it every single time. That yeah, but like, on... you could, yeah, but like you could say that about a load of players. You. You could say that about, let's say, R9 or something, right? Are you going to... Do you think... even Or even Suarez, right? I never... Look, the R9 thing, realistically, I've never seen R9 play. So okay, let, let me look for another example because there's definitely... There's not much... There's just a time to tell you, Man United, Real Madrid, mm-hmm. Juventus, mm-hmm. back to Man United. Mm-hmm. That's, like, that's like saying Thiago Silva is better than Maldini. i never seen Maldini play. Okay, Dan Van da- Or let's say, just one... Sergio Ramos. That's like saying Thiago Silva is better than Sudramas because he's been a be on more teams. He did at PSG, did at Milan, and he did at Chelsea. I would probably, the way I looked at football, I'd probably say he probably is. He probably is. Okay, if I look at, if have you watched Puyo? Yeah, I watched Puyo. You've watched Puyo. That means Sudram. So with the logic that you're using, let's say right. Yeah. Thiago Silva should be the best centre back of all time. He probably is up there. He want to be. In the yeah, but like, you, but he, but he's not though. That's that's what I'm saying. Because just because he played in more leagues doesn't mean doesn't mean he's better player than all of them. But see, the problem is we're only based when we talk about arguments of all these teams, mm. we're only basing them because of the team they play for. Mm. If we actually have watched Thiago Silva a lot more when he played, yeah, at all these clubs, we would probably be having a completely different argument now. And the only reason why we always say Sergio Ramos is so good is because of Champions League, because mm. we always see him in Champions League. Mm-hmm. We can realistically speaking, none of us are. Let me make something very clear. Some that not you. Mm. But all of us don't watch these other leagues. No, so when that's why when I that's why when I say like when all of us are trying to say this player is this good, this player mm. is that good, it's like no, we're basing it off because we watched the Champions League. Yeah, like if mm. these teams were never in the Champions League and this player mm. was there playing this mm. good, none of us would be talking shit about this. Player. Oh, no, 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 that, no. That's that's where I'm coming from when I'm mm. at. I was like, because I've seen Ronaldo do it at the top at every team he goes, we get. Yeah, okay, I've seen mm. Ronaldo, Juventus in the Champions League. Yeah, I, 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 I understand, I understand that. Right? Madrid, and then my night. I, yeah, I know. I do. I do. I do get what you mean. But I'm just saying that I don't think you can use him going to different leagues as a as a reason for him to be better than Messi because that's like I like I'm still on this Thiago Silva thing, right? He's not better than JT. He's not better than Rio Ferdinand. Ooh. Thiago Silva. Oh, I don't know. He's not better than Rio Ferdinand anyway. I don't know. You see, it's an argument, though, right? I don't know. <laughs> Thiago, the thing, like I've watched Thiago Silva a good bit. Mm. Like, that's what I'm mm. I don't know, man. That guy is. Uh, he is, whew. yeah. He's. Ve- I don't get me wrong. I put him beside Van Dyke. You're not getting past. I, I won't. I won't lie. I think Thiago Silva is one of the smartest defenders of all time, if not the smartest, right? But I'm just saying that I don't. I would never use an excuse. I've never not an excuse, but a reason 
that a player has gone to different leagues and maybe he he don't win in all the leagues, right? So dominate all that's I if you tell me a player has gone to all these leagues and dominated, mm -hmm. and it's because of one player has stayed at their club for mm -hmm. all their career, yeah, and been playing good. To me, the player that's dominating every league he's going to is better than that one player staying. At I just, club. I just, I just, I just don't think it matters though. I, I actually don't think it matters. To be honest, it doesn't. Because when you win, at the end of the day, when you score 91 block clock goals in a calendar year, I'm sorry, you have, you have to be my goals. I won't lie. You just have to be my goals. I, that's, that's just me. And it's even, it's more of a preference as well, by player, player wise. See, you see, when it comes to a Messi and Ronaldo debate, right? It's just an opinion. Yeah. No, there's no right or wrong answer. I just think that I, my answer is right, and you just think your answer is right. But no one is completely right. No one's one hundred percent right yeah. in this if, argument. If, if we base this down to um, cabinet, mm. Messi is going to be clear of Ronaldo. He has a World Cup, man. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, like you he, know, he has a World Cup. Like there's no, Ronaldo, there's no, there's no getting better than the that. The only way that this is going to happen is if Ronaldo is still playing football and. and and Portugal get to the final and they just say, look, mm. we want Ronaldo to the we have to work up. Mm. Then cool calm. Uh, yeah, that, that, exactly. That's where we get there, but But it's not like but the thing is, right, even when you look at internationally, Ronaldo with the team he has now, or the, and his teams he has had, maybe not but he has had, but the team he has now mm. around him, he had some some of some of the best players in the world around him mm -hmm. with this Portugal team. And they didn't win anything. And mm -hmm. he didn't score any goals. And that's what kind of puts me... It kind of kind of bugs in my head. I'm just like, why, why are people calling my man the goal? Mm -hmm. But yeah, again, I'm not discrediting anything that Ronaldo has done. I won't lie. I think Ronaldo is one, is one of the goals of the, of the game. But I'm just saying, it's a preference at the end of the day. Yeah, it is a preference. At the end of the day, it's a preference. The different people... people different people mm -hmm. debate the preference on different things. I'm mm -hmm. not debating it on cabinet mm. i'm debating on the way i've seen mm. what the player is doing on yeah the of CV. course because realistically even ronaldo's cv is better than messi's yeah, yeah, yeah when without achievements yeah with achievements messi's is going to obviously overtake him but without mm. achievements this player has gone to, this player has done a sport in lisbon been world class he's done at my united world class real madrid world class juventus still kept the level of world class and mm. um, went back to my united was top goal score was oh, well, 10 well, yeah had a massive influence mm. on this year Mm. Top goal scoring. I look at that and then I look at Messi Barcelona. He has had a fantastic career at Barcelona. Mm. Had to leave because the, it wasn't even, it was a close fault he had to leave. Yeah. Went, but do you think Messi, if do you like if you put it like this, if Messi went to these leagues, these the league, the same leagues that Ronaldo went. Do I think he would have done as good as Yeah. I don't know. The mm. Premier League would be the one that would be I think the Prem is a big is a big question yeah. mark. Cause they, they, I don't think there hasn't been anyone because close. You know the thing interesting about the Prem is, mm. it's like the Prem is like this. I love my team. It's like when Tottenham got caught out about you know they were playing that high line, yeah, crazy yeah, football yeah. and all this. Mm. Then was it not one team that dealt with them? The Chelsea game when Chelsea dealt with them, mm. everybody was realizing like, okay, wait a minute, it's very easy to get past. It's actually not that mm. hard to do this. Mm. Then. Tottenham went on an absolute crazy, obviously injuries and stuff. To yeah, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Lot to me. But it's like, if one player or one defender actually is like, this is how you catch Messi. A great example is Eden Hazard. Mm. Remember when United play Hazard? And yeah, Herrera, Herrera just, was smelling him like, felt like, like a bad smell. Yeah. I, just like, I remember it, yeah. That's what, he would, that's what people just need to do. Just, just do just that to Hazard. Player, yeah. Yeah. Just the player's going to stick on him. Mm -hmm. Going to take one player out of the game, but mm -hmm. take one player out of the game for the other team as well. But has there been a player ever that was able to mark Messi and just destroy him for the whole game as I said we haven't watched the Liga enough to know mm. if we watch a Liga week in week out mm. we never know because you, can, you can try you can try your best right yeah. to man mark that guy but once you get closer if you press him he will press you <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> the, the only person that can ask that question is Messi yeah he, he needs to tell us who's that one he, who's the hardest player you've played against because Ronaldo has said he, his hardest opponent was actually cool yeah. So you know, you know that one. Who's hardest opponent? Who's best is hardest probably going to be someone that we didn't even think. Exactly, we won't even know the best's mm. name. But but, uh, that's 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 the, that's the thing with the Messi Ronaldo mm. argument. It's something that has been, it's it's very interesting one. Very very interesting, yeah. You know, I mean, I, that's the way I look at it. I just look mm. at it based on the CV. Yeah. Without achievements, mm. um, but now we have a problem in the Premier League, and it's something that I think that. We all need to look at and be like, 
this could be a problem. And I hate to say this, and I hope it's not. I hope it doesn't happen. Manchester United could genuinely be on their way back. Yeah, hundred percent. But well, how many times have we said that? Yeah. <laughs> we say that a lot. We say that oh, they might be back. Like we say that about a lot of teams, right? Mm. But Good. I'm saying, I'm saying, right? United have a good structure now, right? And they're bringing in players with. They're using that sense this time. Like they brought in this Zerker guy. Zerker never guy. seen him play before. Never. I don't know who. I I know of him because I remember at that time company was shouting. He was like Zerk. If you ever do that again, remember when company was shouting mm. that? Yeah, he was one of the players. He was, company was shouting that. That's how I know the guy, right? Right. The guy is like six four, right? They look exactly like just did. Mm. That is the one. That's the lit, right? That's a statement title. 50 million as well. You know, Old United, right? And this this is where I, I rate it because Old United would have spent that 70 million on Bray, Brayway uh-huh. and then and then they would have spent even more on Delay. Mm. You know, that's Old United way. You know, remember when I told Sam that mm. he needs an owner like Danny Levy? He mm. said, no. You, this, this is, yeah. You're exactly getting what you're getting. What you're, you're, looking you're getting for a Levy now. This mm. is something that's not going to pay ridiculous prices yeah. for everything. But the one thing that they they are gonna struggle with, you know, with PSR now, mm. they they are if they if they have forty million on Zerk, right? They're gonna spend fifty on delay, if even fifty mm. or forty two with add-ons. I don't know. So that's eight million spend, and not barely anything going out of the club. You know what I mean? Because now Sancho is staying after he was a little bitch and he apologized, right? <laughs> yeah, why did he apologize? What, like, he had to be a little bitch. I I I, I hate that argument people have. That Sancho was in the wrong. I am so sorry. You as a manager should never come out and criticize your players. Never. You should. If you you're, if you're you captain only criticize them in in, in, in closed doors. doors. You never if your do manager the public. Does, if your captain does it, if players want to criticize each other, cool. But you as a manager should mm. never, never criticize a player. Sancho was not wrong in that situation. I'd be sorry. If Sancho replying, I do not care what anybody says. People say he shouldn't have done it. If it's like, look. Off topic, we're all watching Love Island lately. <laughs> it's like the Harriet and Sh- Kieran situation. Harriet slagged Kieran mm. and was laughing about it. Kieran yeah. slagged her back, and now Kieran's in, now everybody was saying Kieran's a bad guy. Because how is Kieran a bad guy when someone if you don't, you don't open your mouth and no one's gonna open your mouth to you? You can't you can't dish it, but not take the it. game. You can't you can't, you can't do can't that in this You can't call a player out like that. He was sent to do all this training. Mm. He's been doing everything you've been telling him to do. You said something about his mental health. He well. said about his mental health as well. Mm didn't argue then mm. you went not to go and criticize him and then the guy was like i've actually had enough for you yeah you slagged him sent him back to Borussia Dortmund. Mm. he got the champions league final mm. and this is the guy who you said that isn't good enough for mm. is whatever mm. like it makes no logical sense i get ten hag wants to bring structure discipline, discipline but stuff, there's bro. a way to go about things and mm. that is not the way no sancho me and you need to talk this is not working mm. like x y and z you mm. argue in your office end of story when we when we watch all these shows um that amazon prime do with like arsenal tottenham mm-hmm. city you see the arguments they have when the managers mm. um room yeah. i don't want to be here anymore if you're not gonna play me yeah you're not but you're not playing well enough shit like that not for you to go on sorry big boy tv and start it's like, the guy. Can, yeah it's but, like, even, have... but even like like yeah you got asked the question why was the tantrum on the team don't say it's the club issue and it's resolved now. Not just a club issue. Just say he wasn't. Don't, don't even say he was. Just say something that like to protect him. Just that's protect him. that's just their say, job, though. Oh, that's at the their moment, job. He wasn't ready right now. Mm. Then explain to Sancho. I said this because I didn't want to make it a big mm. deal. Or just like, say Sancho knows guy, why he's not there or something. Yeah, or something. Just something like that. Just don't. We don't as fans, out him. we as fans, have more common knowledge than you when it comes to us doing certain things. Mm. That's a red flag already. Mm. You know, if fans can say, "Oh, Tanag, this Tanag that he just mm. came," no, you're a manager. You got when you get your manager license, they obviously have to teach you how to deal with situations. Mm. You have a PR team, you have all these things. You doing that was a selfish act, and we all know it was. Tanag is a great manager. I'm not gonna lie, he's done at Ajax. He actually has he won he's won two trophies at Man United. So at the end of the day, we can't say he's a bad manager. People can mm. say, oh, Tanag did Tanag that. Tanag has won more trophies than at my club. He's won more trophies than um, Ateta. Ateta. He's won more trophies than so many other managers. Mm. And what well, well, they're trying to say something about him. Mm. But the thing is, he needs to understand. The only thing about Tanag I say is, such a central situation, he himself needs to learn from that and be like, okay, mm. do you know what? I can't do this. If something like this happens again, I'm just going to give the one stupid excuse, but I'm going to call the parents and say, I said this because of this. Mm. This is why I said it. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. Don't let's not make it a big deal. Exactly. Now. But doing this thing of, I want to I want to show him who he's boss, that he knows who the fuck I am. I'm like, grow up, man. 
it's like grow up. But the thing is, you know, United, United being back is, is I think it's, they might be back, but it's still mm. a stretch. Can, can I back. be honest with you? Mm. United will never be like what they were 20 years ago. Not for those. Never again not for in the history of the club. They might start winning, tro- like they might win they the might, Premier League they, in the next five or 10 years. Mm. But they will not be, they will not be, they will not be there again. They because I still think they have problems on the team. They don't I, have, I, they don't they have a hundred. To, they need to do a massive clear like, Yeah. They actually need to start like, but to at, but at what expense? Because they need to. They don't know how to set players. See, that's what Arsenal, are, my United's problem that they buy players with big bucks, but they don't have to. They don't know how to sell players. I don't know why they books. don't learn from the likes of Tottenham and City. Mm. That I don't, don't even even at Chelsea that man. Chelsea as well. Mm. Like you, these, no City are the best today. City, yeah, City, yeah. City will be yeah. saying the academy plays Cle- for like 14, 15 clearly, million. Clearly, <laughs> and clearly. I, it was like you learn from like you learn from this like. You know, you see all these people, you see all these teams and they're selling players for like decent amount. Even mm. they're losing, they're not losing the amount. Even see Tottenham, the Tottenham one to sell Emerson Royale to AC Milan. AC Milan wants all the chicken chain. Like, no, you're going to pay 20 million and not get mm. any player. Yeah, even like, what's it called? I, you know, Arsenal's most expensive um, so, 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 player they sold is 38 million. And it's Oxen Chamberlain to Liverpool. Imagine that. Do you hear what I said there? <laughs> Oxen block like Chamberlain. Is the highest they've made on a player leaving the club. I'm pretty sure Spurs is sell players for fun. Yeah. You know, like then I see, price. then I see, but well, that's the same amount of money that Chelsea sold in Madison. Right? That's the same amount of money that Chelsea sold. That, that's less money than Chelsea bought Copama for, right? That's the same amount of money that I think Omar Hutchinson, around the same amount of money that Omar Hutchinson went to. Should this Spurs get two players of Juventus for like, yeah, Benton, it was Ben um, Benton Cora Benton Cora and, and, and Kulovetsky. Kulovetsky, yeah. And you have, and then you just look at that team. They just keep spending, spending, spending. When they grab them, <laughs> because you know what the thing is, yeah, mm. it's because of their brand. It's only mm. because of my United as a that yeah. name. Mm. If that name wasn't there, who, what, my United, who? Okay. Jo- do, you know, do you know the way that um, Nicole's going? Who's Emma? <laughs> Who's Emma? Who's Man United? <laughs> who, who? What? My, what? Care? Okay. Do you have that name? Hey. If, but that, see, if that name crashed, if that name crashed in one way or another, that, that club is finished. finished. But you think it's right? United have to sell Anthony. You know, they're right. But I know, I know your brother hates saying a certain player, but they, they're selling him as well. Who? You already know what I'm going to say. I don't want to say his voice. I say, yeah, put it inside, please. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. That one, he's already gone. His parent is going to my sale. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He's already gone for like 30 million. And they have a 50% sell on clause. Can you imagine? Like, well, obviously, was if he wasn't being the fucking idiot that he was, mm. Jesus been like, Christ. If he, wasn't, <laughs> if he, he had <laughs> pretension. Oh, see that one, yeah? That one, ah, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I say that one pains my United fans. 100%. Because that... that Remember what that, he was doing? What? Mm. So... Anyways. <laughs> what's it called? What was I going to say, so? Yeah, but United need to sell. Yeah, they need to sell. Casemiro to Saudi... Apparently, Varane's gone. Varane's gone. Varane's gone on a free. Varane's gone on a free. Casemiro let him go. They need mm. to get... I was about to... Chris Mason, they need to let Luke Shaw go. They need to actually let that one go. Too and they have... What's, his, what's that guy? Is, that small black guy that was a left back for them. But oh, he's been... Manassia. Yeah. I don't even know where the fuck he went now, to be honest. They Man, even... Wrong, and man. now they... Just remember, they spend big bucks on Mason Mount as well. Mason Mount. So, do they have to incorporate him into the team now? Or they have to. They, so, they who are they going to drop now? Because you're not going to drop mainly for Mason Mount. You know, you're not stupid. And then they have to get somebody that can play with Manu and Bruno as well. So when you look at that, Mans doesn't have a future on that team. Why they bought him, I don't know. But I'm happy for him. Then they have they need to get rid of um they need to get rid of a lot of people. Like <laughs> the one that they might need to get rid of. I, I, like I said, I actually love him as a player, Rashford. Yeah. They need to get rid of Rashford. Because now that San, after Sancho's year, after the second half of the year, yeah, after yeah. Ganacho's year, Ganacho's still very young as well. I just don't... They're still going to buy players, like... Yeah, yeah, have the Zerky guy for them, man. Mm. Yeah, you need to get rid of Maguire. I say, I say they keep Maguire. They, they Unless they... Like, can't keep Maguire's third option. So sorry. If they want to do that, Maguire should just... Yeah, it's because they want to they want to have Martinez, um, they have Delay, to Scott, and then under Scott Scott Santa Bar- They have a lot of players to get rid of, but look, mm. I, in them, they trust. Like, do I think there's improvements in my United? Big time, yes. I think... Mm. I think... I think we all look... The only reason, like I said this to you, we look at my United like we should be doing better. Mm. 
as a club. Like your team is the goat of the Premier League. You go, like. you go to Premier League, so now you're as bad as you're doing. No, you haven't won the Premier League in God knows how long. Since Ferguson's you days, comp- you've only competed for the. I Premier was still League. in primary school when they won the last one. <laughs> they haven't been competing for the Premier League that much anymore. It's mm. just like, come on, you said like, it goes to the Premier League. You need to do better. You yeah, way better. To, but do I think they'll ever do better again? No. No. So, yeah, what is what is the question? Do well. Mm. So the question I have for you is, I have a question for you. Which is going to win the Prem? Next season, I'm back in my team. I'm back in my team. To win the prem, yeah, I'm back. Yeah, yeah. You, I'm you back. see, that's that's how I know you, you see. You see me, I see me. Captain Morgan there. You have been drinking today. You call me crazy. I'm back. Yeah, I've been drinking alcohol today. I'm back in space. Yeah, you, see, you know it's good to back your team, but I don't think you're crazy. I'm back honestly, in my team. I think you have run mad. Honestly, so who's gonna win it? Ah, it pains me to say, man. I won't lie. See it again. Nah, I still. I think I think they have to. If they don't do this, I don't know for I them again. And I've said this to you. You know the funny thing is that yeah, Arsenal fans argue. Remember there was a yet yeah, they came to me and said we're gonna win, we're gonna win. Mm. I keep telling them, <sighs> how about God? And let me say this thing. I, as I said, Arsenal are playing beautiful football, They're doing well. Arsenal will not win the Premier League because of one reason, one reason only. They got rid of Granit Xhaka. Yes. And I said it from day one. If Arsenal never got rid of Granit Xhaka, they, they wouldn't have won the Premier League this season. Mm-hmm. I always said to my friend, if there's one, as a Spurs fan, if there's one Arsenal player I will ever take, ever, no Terry on real anything, is that Granit Xhaka guy. The guy just brings so much, because you have to respect it as well. Because you remember when they hated that guy? Yeah. And then you hurt him when they, they hurt mm. them when he, when he left. Passion. Mm, passion. You don't see any, you don't see that like anymore in it's this week. The, the biggest mistake Arsenal made, was in good? my opinion, was getting rid of Granit Xhaka. Well, like they should have forced him to stay. They should, they should have, have upped his wages, wages. I don't care what they did. The guy, they should have the kept guy, him. The guy went to Barry Leverkusen. Mm. Same passion, same attitude. What did he do? He went unbeaten. Wait, unbeaten the whole season. Switzerland should have bet England that time. Should have. So that's why I say to They got unlucky that game as well. So. They will say Declan Rice, listen, I don't care. No, no, no. When you have someone like Granit Xhaka on your team, a leader, mm. a warrior, someone that's like, Someone that dies for, like, genuinely speaking, mm. he will he will break someone's legs and he doesn't care if he gets that red card. Mm. But he knows that he's could have for, been... He's always playing for the badge. Yeah, that could have been the difference between someone scoring a goal mm. and them losing two points versus yeah. someone versus... versus them taking three points. Mm. That's the thing with me. So, as I, I tell you this, I hate Arsenal, but there's only one other player I'll take in history. I don't care about Terry Henry, I don't care about them. It's mm. Shaka. But the thing That's is, right, personally. I think Arteta is he's boying it too much now. The amount of fucking centre backs he's buying, Jesus Christ! Let him buy the whole of them. He's never like. Play them. You, do you know how many centre backs he has on his team? Not that no. Ben White came in as a centre back. He played him right back. Playing him right back. Calafulori, the guy that's the Italian centre back, he's going to be playing left back for Arsenal. So he's going to have four centre backs in the back line. None of them that can attack. Ben White is a rubbish, rubbish attacker, attacking right back, but he's a good defend, defending one. Mm. Calafulori, I don't even know him. Until the, until the Euros, yeah. and I don't even think. Do you know him? No. Me, me, me I saw. I, I I saw Chelsea on LinkedIn. I said fifty. I saw fifteen minutes. So I said, "Allah Majek, <laughs> go for Batson." You, we'll deal with your team next time, your brother. I said because I don't understand you people. What team? Chelsea. No, I don't have a team. I told you, I support football. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching another episode of DS Podcast. Like I said, we will be back with more things. Now mm. we have this gadget right here, right now. The game has changed. Mm. The game has it's changed. Been pepperfied. We are we are pepperfied we are right pepper-fied. now. <laughs> We're pepperfied with a bit of Alex Ferguson on that blood. Chai! Jose Mourinho football. And a bit of Jose Mourinho injecting. A to touch us of as well. it. And a touch. And I mean a touch of Jurgen Klopp. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We made it this far. And yes, stay tuned. New episode will be out in the next week or two. Take care. Amen. Yeah,